Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this short video, I'm going to break from tradition and not show you a screencast of me demonstrating some software, but I'm actually going to do a product review for something I think some of you may find useful going forward with education remotely. One of the tools we often use in our education in class is a visualizer. The visualizer allows us to project papers, images, documents or drawings onto the screen so the students can see them. Doing this at home poses a small challenge to us. You could just draw on a piece of paper and hold it up to your webcam, but you might find that the image quality isn't that good. Webcams are not very good at picking up fine writing on paper. The other disadvantage about using a webcam for this is that the lens on a webcam tends to be fairly wide angle. Some might say a little bit like a fisheye. This would mean that the focal length is different across its range and you may get curvature in your image if you're drawing a straight line, for instance. To purchase these visualizers for yourself is actually quite expensive, but on Amazon I found the Thustand USB document camera, which essentially is a visualizer for home use. It's a plug-and-play USB device uh, and I've tested it on both Mac and Windows systems and it does exactly what it said it should do. You plug it in and it works. It is compatible with Zoom, it's compatible with Teams and it's compatible with OBS. Essentially this document camera is a variable focus camera on the end of a pole on a stand with a base plate. This allows you to position the camera in any direction and the variable focus lens will focus a good, flat, sharp image at many different focal distances. You can actually focus really close with this lens, and when I've been using it, I found I can focus up to about three centimeters from the end of the lens and get some fairly dramatic close-up shots of things. The advantage of this over a webcam is not only is it mounted already for you for visualization, but the lens itself is not a super wide angle like a lens in a webcam. It's actually quite a narrow angle compared to most webcams, and this allows you to have a nice, clear and flat image. So without any further ado, let's just have a look and see how this functions when plugged into a computer. So I've plugged the visualizer into my uh, Macintosh computer via USB and I've loaded up the Photo Booth app which is a way of visualizing uh, cameras that are attached to the computer and when I select this camera you'll see that it works incredibly effectively, the focus is nice and sharp and the color contrast is good. You'll see the autofocus working and you'll see how quickly it adapts to different focal lengths. So as a quick start this is good Let's see how it performs in Microsoft Teams. So now I've started the Microsoft Teams meeting and in Teams my default webcam is the webcam on top of my monitor and of course I use this for my Teams meetings. But you'll notice down here we have the visualizer. The visualizer is also a USB camera and is recognized by Teams as one of its cameras. So if I use my mouse to click on the more actions and choose the device settings, under the camera section I've now got three devices. I've got the HD webcam on top of my monitor and I've got this extra thing called the USB camera which is the visualizer. I've also got the OBS virtual camera but we'll talk about that later. So by switching to USB camera You'll notice that on the screen the image is actually back to front and this is a feature of Microsoft Teams which is going to come back and bug us later. But anyway, the key thing to know is that what you're showing on the visualizer now is appearing at the destination the correct way round. So I can use my pen and I can demonstrate this normal eccentric and concentric hypertrophy in the left ventricle using a textbook. Of course, I can also use the visualizer now to talk through any other paperwork I might be able to have on it. You can switch back to your regular camera by clicking back on the right camera on the link. But you don't need the device settings to do that. You can do that using this little icon that appears when you have more than one camera installed on your computer. The pop-up that appears it says switch camera. And if you click on the switch camera button, it'll cycle through the different cameras you have installed on your system. So that's a really useful thing to be able to do as well. So we now know that the visualizer works very well with Microsoft Teams. It's fairly easy to switch between your normal webcam and your visualizer webcam. 
But what if you're sharing a document? Can you switch from a PowerPoint presentation to a visualizer? So to do this, I'm going to load up one of my lectures within Microsoft Teams. Of course, this will open up the PowerPoint presentation in the Teams window, and you'll notice that your presentation now appears on the screen. Down the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you can see your face. And you can now switch your webcam to the visualizer by clicking on the switch camera button and you can encourage your viewers to view your camera rather than viewing the presentation for a period of time where you want to present with your visualizer. And now finally, I'm in OBS. I've loaded up my default OBS PowerPoint presentation setup and I've added a, another scene called visualizer. In the visualizer scene, I've set up the visualizer camera and you can see here the visualizer is next to me and I've got access to this textbook that's open underneath. It's really easy then, if you're doing an OBS recording, to switch between your webcam, your visualizer and perhaps any slide deck that you have open at the same time. If you're using OBS and you're transmitting via Teams, again you must remember that the image will look back to front in Teams but will be received on the other end of Teams the right way round. So in conclusion, this little camera is actually quite a great little camera. Um, I'm quite impressed with its light sensitivity, I'm quite impressed with its focus speed. I'm also quite impressed that at this distance from a textbook you can get quite a lot of the textbook in. Also the quality of the image is very good indeed. Of course this device doesn't just have to be used as a visualizer. If you rotate the camera on its stand you can use it as any other webcam. It has an inbuilt microphone, but the quality of that microphone isn't that good. It's a little bit noisy, but as a webcam goes, it's just as good as most. So would I recommend this camera? Well, it's £76. So if you're in the market for a visualizer that's USB compatible and works with Windows and Mac operating system that you can use with Teams and OBS and perhaps find extra uses for it later, then I think it's a pretty good deal. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.